In this video, I'm going to be covering how you can revert commits on your GitHub desktop project. While this sounds like a very simple thing to do at first glance, it actually has quite a little bit of complexity to it because it requires you to have an awareness of how the commit tree works, as well as whether your commits, the commits that you want to revert, whether they are pushed or whether they are unpushed. And depending on whether they are pushed or unpushed, you will use a different method to go about doing this. Now, if you're looking for ways to revert your Git project instead and you're not using your GitHub desktop, please refer to the link in the description below. There's a different video that covers how to do that on the Git command line. So with that said, let's get started. Now, before you make any reversions in your project, the first thing you want to do is to check your outstanding changes list and see that you do not have any uncommitted changes. If you do have them, there are two options that you have. Number one, you can select both of them by checking the checkboxes here and then discarding them. Or you can check both of them but go to branch and then stash all changes. Either one of these will be fine but you will have to remove the outstanding changes because otherwise later on when you start reverting your project, it's going to add more files to your change list. It's going to mess everything up. So I recommend discarding, but because when you when you stash these changes later on, you will have to unstash them. And then when you unstash these changes, you, this can cause more conflict. All right, if you want to figure out how to unstash changes, when you stash changes, there will be a little tab here that you can click on and then you can restore your changes. Again, I recommend you discard your changes. Stashing brings about a lot of merge conflicts sometimes and that I think is not worth the trouble. So before you start reverting, right, let's have a look at the options that we have available to us. The easiest changes to revert are changes that have not been pushed onto your GitHub repository. And the reason is simple because when you push your changes on the repository, the history of the repository is updated and then this affects other people who pull your changes onto their own project. So if you have changes that are pushed onto the repository, it, it requires, well, there are a couple of methods to remove those commits as well. But let's go through the unpushed changes first. And for unpushed changes, it's really simple to revert them. Because if you right click on any commit that you have, right, you will see there is an option to reset the commit. But you will not be able to select this option unless all the commits that are in front of that commit itself are unpushed. So how do you see if something is unpushed? You look at this little arrow here. This tells you the change has not been pushed. And you will see because there are two unpushed changes here, there is a little number two here at the push origin button of GitHub desktop. So because this specific commit has two unpushed changes, I'm able to do a reset here. I'm also able to do a reset here. So how you reset this will depend on which commit that you want to revert to. So in my case here, if I want to reset to this particular commit here, I can just click on reset to commit. And then this will remove the commits and then move the changes of all the commits that you have reset over to your changed files list. And this is how you revert an uncommitted and unpushed change. If I were to make a wild guess, so I think most of you are here because you want to revert commits that are already pushed onto GitHub desktop. So let's get into how to do that as well. When you revert changes that have been pushed, it's a, it's a different process. And again, this is because the commit tree that you change here will affect everyone else who's working on the project. So the safest way to do it is to right click and do a revert changes in commit like this. Now, when you do this, you want to be really careful because every time you revert the changes, you will add an entry like this into your commit tree. So when you revert the changes to prevent disruption to the commit tree, you want to revert the changes commit by commit. So you want to revert the first change here first and then revert the next change, and then revert the next change, and so on until you get to the commit that you want to get to. You do not want to just right-click on an old commit right here and then just revert the changes here because this only reverts the changes on the files that are listed here, and this will affect the rest of the files because the other commits, if you revert one single commit over here, the other commits that are above do not get reverted. So again, this will create much conflicts that will create a lot of unnecessary trouble with your project. So revert the changes in order, and you will be safe. All right, so revert everything from top down, and then once you are finished with all the reversions, you can push to origin. So all of these reversions will add commits to the commit tree and you will have to push them for the reversions to be applied to your repository on GitHub as well. One interesting thing to note about this revert feature is that if you, by accident, if you revert the wrong commit, remember that because these also qualify as unpushed commits, so if you just accidentally click, click on the wrong revert changes, let's say right here, I revert the changes down in this commit here and I don't want to do that, you can always right click on any of these unpushed changes because they're counted as unpushed commits, right? You can just reset the commit to remove the reversions that you have just added by accident. If you do reset though, re do remember that these resets will cause the commit changes to be applied on the change list and you will also have to go back here to discard all the changes. So this is something that you want to take note of if you're using the reversion feature. There are a couple of other features in GitHub Desktop that I thought would be useful to bring to your attention. And one of these features is the amend commit feature. Many times when I work on projects, I have made a commit only to realize that I've forgotten to make one or two changes. And when you have such a situation, the amend commit feature is really useful. And what the amend commit feature does is that it allows you to make further changes to the particular commit that you have. And it allows you to afterwards amend that commit. So let me just make a simple change right here on my files so that it shows up on the change tree. Now, when I amend my last commit, right, it allows me to modify this commit over here without adding a new entry. And this is really good if you want to keep your commit tree 
clean and organized. Take note though that if you amend a commit that has already been pushed, then a warning will appear like this. And if you try to amend this last commit here like this, it will force a push. So over here, you will see this becomes a false push. And what a false push is, is basically it changes the commit tree on GitHub Desktop as well. And whenever you do a false push, GitHub Desktop will warn you about that. And this is because, well, if you change the commit tree on the GitHub website itself, again, this will affect the trees of every single person. But if you just amend the last commit, it should mostly be safe. Just make sure that whenever you amend something that is pushed, you have to make sure that no one else is working on your project. So if the commit has been there for a while and you don't know whether someone has been working on your project thereafter, it is best to not amend the last commit. The amend feature is really only meant to be used when you push something and you want to immediately change something and you know that no one else is working on the push that you have made. So you want to be really careful about this because if you amend a project while someone else is working on it it creates problems for them it creates problems with project syncing which is why you have all these warnings that come when you make changes to the commit tree on github and you try and force push something up there there is also another feature that when you right click around in the history tree you might be you might be tempted to use and that is the reorder commit feature i recommend that you don't use that just because when you reorder commits it messes up your commit tree and it messes up your history and it's just not the best for the health of your project when collaborating with others you're gonna get much conflict you know and i think that nothing is worth dealing with much conflict there are very edge cases where this can be useful, but as a general rule of thumb, I never use this. So I recommend that you avoid this as well, unless it's really unavoidable. The last thing I want to cover is that if some of you are like me and you are wondering if there are other ways to revert changes other than to use this clunky revert feature and get out there stop because you may not like all the extra commits that it adds to your project. Now, is there a way? There is definitely a way. You can straight up just remove these commits instead of using the revert feature over here. But for you to be able to do that, you will have to download the git command line from git-scm.com. And then once you have that, you will be able to go into your project itself and then access the git command line from here. I will show you how to do this in a different video though. So you will have to check out the video in the link in the description below. Git command line synchronizes with GitHub Desktop because they both modify your Git folder to change the commit tree. So using the command line together with GitHub Desktop is no problem at all. So I'll see you in the next video if you want to figure out how to get this to work.